Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, depending on where you are at and watching this at this time. Today, we're going to a NARS makeup counter. If you didn't know, I do a whole series on these where I go to different makeup counters. I've been to a whole bunch of them, Morphe, The Body Shop, Givenchy, Marc Jacobs, Fenty, like so many. A few of them I think I want to redo because so many of these brands buy new products. That's totally a different thing. I'm going off on that. Oh my, let my, that was my alarm. I'm gonna be completely honest, day has been very, very stressful. <gasps> but um, it's fine, it's fine, we move, we move. NARS have Laguna Bronzer, the Casino Bronzer, Orgasm Blusher, their Creamy Under Eyes Concealer, their Radiant Longwear Foundation. These are all products that I have tried and I love. Um, I haven't really tried a lot of their like eye products as such. Look at these friends that I work up with. <laughs> every time, every time, every time I do one of these videos, my skin just be like, hey, boop. Not appreciated. Okay, anyways, we need to go. We need to go. Bye. red my nose is it's so cold but i'm here at the nard store in sloan square um really really pretty store i didn't know that they had this standalone one which is really really nice um, and it's so warm in there but i quickly walked in and i was like i'm really sorry can i quickly just go outside and vlog and let everyone know that i've arrived so we're here and yeah i'm just really excited to number one get warm and put some makeup on this face so yeah let's go <laughs> Guys, I'm here with Sherelle, my lovely makeup artist, who's going to be beating my face today. Look how bougie this whole room is to get your makeup done in. This is nice. Really nice. So pretty. And look, we get some bum selfies here as well. <laughs> Love that. First things first, before we even begun, Sherelle made sure that her workspace was nice and clean to work with. She wiped down all the products and of course disinfected them and of course added some antibac to her hands as well. The first product that she took was the multi-action hydrating toner, just to remove any dirt or residue that may be sitting on top of the skin, especially when I'm traveling on the undergrounds and stuff like this around London. The pollution is not great. So, you know, she wanted to make sure the skin was nicely prepped before she went and applied the moisturizer. Now, oh my God, guys, when she was giving me this facial mask, side with the moisturizer i was loving it let me tell you i felt like i was getting like a lymphatic drainage thing going on along my jawline oh it felt so nice <laughs> and then this is what the skin was looking like after so i was really impressed because it had such a gorgeous glow to it then with the eye cream she tapped that around the orbital bone and then did it into a figure of eight as you will see she'll go around and then bring it across and then whatever product was left she also dapped a little bit dapped tapped a little bit onto my lips as well for primers she went in with the nars radiance primer spf 35 and i asked about this product having flashbacks that's one of the worst things that i hate you know especially if you know you're going to be taking photos you don't want that sort of like cast over the skin but she said that this one doesn't have any flashback which is great now for the foundation she used the nars natural radiant foundation which i have used myself and i'm a very big fan of i love it because it gives you a nice amount of coverage when it comes to color matching she selected three shades and then told me which two i prefer and then wiped the other one off with a cotton pad but with the primer on it so then it didn't disturb the primer she previously had i then said okay i think this shade looks better out of those two she warmed the product on her hand as you can see right there the product was on the hand then she warmed up her fingertips and then went in and applied that onto the face she said that she's a really big fan of using the hands of course because the warmth helps melt it away we did end up using the shade Barcelona in the foundation so now she took the soft matte concealer and this one was used only around the face so on breakouts discoloration that sort of thing she applied it used a brush and then used her finger to dab that out for the under eye she used the NARS creamy concealer which is quite a staple for NARS like everyone seems to love this concealer and I myself have used it for a very long time as well so that was used on the under eye then as you can see she got some of the loose powder blended out any cream on the under eye and then put the powder on top 
grabbed this little cotton pad, split it apart, and then kind of did this rolling technique on the skin to push that into the skin even more and set the product in place. She also went in with a brush as well, just to make sure that there was no product sitting on top of the skin, as you guys can see here. So it's just a light amount dusted all over the skin pretty much. Now we've got a star of the show, ladies and gents, Nars Laguna. What a gorgeous bronzer. This has been a staple for this brand for so many years now. And I can see why it is a really gorgeous one. And she did that in the figure of three. So forehead, cheeks, and jawline, and a little bit on the nose. For the eyebrow, she said she likes to start off at the top point of the eyebrow. So where the natural highest point is. And then she likes to bring that against the hair and then go underneath. We're just gonna do a little comparison now. So you can see one eyebrow has not been filled and the other one has. We're now gonna move on to blusher. So she Sherelle took NARS Orgasm Blusher, which is such an iconic blusher for this brand, and of course, pop that onto the cheeks. Next up, she added some black liner to my tight line and my water line, and then took a brown pencil and popped that on top of the lid, and then brought that kind of high up to the crease, as you guys can see here. She then started to blend that out, and at this point, guys, there was no eyeshadow. This is just the eyeliner, and I really, really like that eyeliner. I think I'm definitely going to get that in the future. Then she grabbed this palette and took this brown shade here and just pressed that on top to kind of lock in that eyeliner and to also intensify it then she used her finger to use that green shade right there and pop that in the center then she grabbed this shimmery champagne tone and pop that underneath the brow bone and then also near the inner tear duct part of the eye of course, throughout, she was continuously blending all of the products together to make sure they went seamlessly. And then we used their Climax Mascara because NARS don't actually have any eyelashes. So you have to use mascara. If you do go to any of their makeup counters, maybe apply your eyelashes after you leave your appointment. For the lips, she took the Satin Up Pencil. I'll leave all shades and everything like this in the down bar as well. She said that this is a really good one to use for lipstick and also as a lip liner as it's quite creamy and hydrating. She then took one of the Power Mattes and then popped that into the center of the lips and then went in with this kind of golden shimmery lip gloss as you guys can see here and pop that just in the center of the bottom lip and then also on the top near the cupid's bow for the final touches she went in with a little bit more of that nars orgasm blusher pop that onto the cheeks and then kind of blended it into the brow kind of brow bone area just so that all the tones and everything went together and that was the final touch thank you so much and I'll leave this lovely lady's Instagram in the down bar as well. So yeah, now I'm gonna go home and show you the next clip. Thank you. <laughs> I just left the NAR store right now. And as you can see, it is dark outside and it is only quarter to five right now. But this is the joys of winter. A bus is going by. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys the makeup outside. Normally it'd be a natural daylight, but of course it is getting quite dark earlier on. But luckily I have this little light above me, so it kind of lights up everything. And I'm literally doing this in front of the side of people. Okay, so this is the makeup that she had done. Look at that highlight. So that's like that. These are the lips. This is the face. So this is everything. Um, now I'm gonna go make my way to the tube station and um, what I'll do is when we get inside, I will walk you guys through what I actually asked for. Um, she even wrote down all the products for me, which is really, really handy because a lot of the time I have to just remember them or play the clip and then listen to it and then search it in on Google and stuff like that. But um, as she wrote it down, it's gonna make it a whole lot easier. But yes, yeah, so this is what the makeup looks like right now. This is the cheeks. And yeah, we're gonna go make our way back to the station. The part of the video now where I'm gonna walk you through everything that I asked for, we're back indoors. I have my mirror set up, I have my light, I have this other light, and this is my microphone in case you see some big wire coming up my desk. I asked for something Christmassy, obviously if it being the festive season, um, I just said, you know, I'm really open to something Christmassy, but I'd like the eyes to, you know, have that Christmassy kind of smoky eye. And they had this new palette out, which had like a green in there, which is what um, Sherelle wanted to use on the eyes. Can you guys see that? I was kind of open to any sort of lip, but once we had done the eye, I said, I'm happy to have like a new kind of lip. I feel like because I've done traveling and it's winter, I feel like right now I'm, I'm looking a little bit like, just tired and a little bit messy. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't know, when you travel in winter, by the time you get home, you're just so cold. And 
I feel like things just look a little bit more drier. So the main thing that she wanted to focus on was the skin. She said NARS is very, very big on their skin. She said that they like to use their primers to help give you that sort of result. So if you want dewy skin, it's all about getting your base right. These are the cheeks like these. This is the colour of the lips. The centre of the lip actually was more glittery and a bit more gold. Um, but of course, because I've had to travel back home, that has kind of faded a little bit. Here we have the eyes. Um, NARS do not have false eyelashes, so um, we just went with their Climax Mascara. And she said she likes to layer the mascara quite a lot to give it a bit more of a sultry effect. It's kind of come off a little bit here. But yeah, so this is what the eyes look like. That highlight on that brow bone is so stunning. Like, I actually really, really love that brow bone highlight a lot. And on camera, the green is looking a little bit like a goldy green, as you would have seen from the palette. It definitely is a true green. And then here we have the eyebrows. Really nice and fluffy. Quite natural, really. Of course, you let me know what you think of the brows and the eyes and, of course, everything all together. The actual base makeup is still quite natural because she used a mixture of concealers and then used the creamy concealer on my under eye. Overall, my experience with NARS has been a really positive one. Even going into the Sloan Square shop, the downstairs was so nice. It just felt like you was a little bit different from the shop. You know, um, another store which had this was the Charlotte Tilbury Covent Garden one, whereas a lot of the other makeup counters I have gone to, of course, you're getting your makeup done right there at the counter. Whereas these little standalone makeup counter stores have a downstairs and a little separate bit. And we was having a really good old chat. She was super, super sweet, guys, and really, really lovely. And we had such a good conversation. Yeah, so she made my overall experience even better. Because obviously, we can all agree, like, when you go to hairdressers, nail shop, wherever you're going, makeup, whatever, the person who is doing this, the makeup artist, the nail technician, the hairdresser, whatever, they can really make or break your experience. So for this NARS makeup counter experience, I actually got confirmation to film, and I booked this through PR. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually leave the contact details for the NARS Sloan Square um, information in the down bar. So NARS have this little thing here which says book your service. So I will leave this linked in the down bar as well. Because And then here it has a little number which says call us. Obviously this is for UK residents. So if you are out of the UK then you might have to contact your NARS counter um, wherever you may be. But one thing I have found with going to all of these makeup counters and stuff is just find one that's local to you and then Google the number and call them. That's how I found the best results because, you know, depending on your location will depend on what you have available around your area. But as I mentioned, I'll leave that all linked in the down bar as well in case you want to get booked, you know, you have a special occasion or anything like that coming up. NARS was also a makeup counter that was highly requested, guys, like super highly requested. So that was really exciting that I've now been able to tick that one off the list. Let me know what you think. What stands out to you? Are there any parts of the makeup that you're like, mm, I would have changed this slightly, I would have added that? Or are there any parts that you're like, wow, I love that, that looks great, this product applied amazingly. I feel like with these makeup counter videos as well, there's like a group of us who just love watching them and seeing how each brand performs and seeing how they differ from one another. So um, yeah, let me know what are you thinking of NARS. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, I'll see you in the next video.